It's AA with Recoil TV. We are at CanCon 2024, and we got PTR Industries here. We got the vice president. You want to introduce yourself? You got it. My name is Bill Gentry. Like I said, I'm the vice president, and we are, in fact, in the Palmetto State at CanCon 2024. CanCon 2024. <laughs> All right, you want to introduce us to what we got here? Absolutely. You know, PTR has been around for 22 years now. We've been doing a lot of fun things. But, you know, you know our legacy stuff. We've got the 32 KFR over here, 762 by 39. Over here, we got the 9 millimeter, which y'all know is the MP5. We call it the CT. But the star of the show, the true star of the show here at CanCon, the vent suppressor. The vent suppressor is taking the industry by storm. What we've got going on here is 3D printed titanium, monolithic print job with, we're talking, printed titanium foam on the inside. We call it PIP, purposefully crazy. induced porosity. Right? This is blowing everybody's minds. It wow. definitely looks interesting. It looks nice. I like the design. Uh, I picked it up yesterday, uh, very lightweight. Like, I think the heaviest part is the mountain system. <laughs> oh, by far. If I were to unscrew that right now, drop one in each hand, you would have a hard time telling which was heavier. So. Tell us uh, pros and cons of the can, or you know what you like or don't like about it. Oh, it's can. pro, pro, and pro. Pro, pro, Maybe, and pro. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is a forward flow-through design, so you're getting none of that gas back in your face. You run one of our cans on your AR, you don't adjust your gas block. I mean, literally, you just screw it on and run. Unscrew it, keep running. It's that good. All right. So we've got DLC coated inside and out. Keep that carbon from building up. Yeah. Little little love in the ultrasonic machine at the end of the range day. She's like new again. What about uh, flash suppressing? How's that? You don't have anything. I mean, we've had these tested at night. You get a couple, three white sparks from the titanium on your first shot. Second, third, fourth, fifth, zero. After nothing. That is just butter. Okay. Nothing. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> And uh, tell us about the mount system. Can it take any adapter or is it proprietary? No, no, no. We use the standard hub adapters on these things. So on the vent one and the vent three, it's a, vent, it's a hub, standard hub B. Mm -hmm. The nine millimeter is gonna be the hub A. Okay. So you can run anybody's gear that's out here right now. If you want the quick disconnect, if you want the three lugs, it doesn't matter, screw it right on, run. Yeah, that's very attractive. Yeah, that's very we got attractive. you. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> tell us about the tell us about the guns. Oh, absolutely. So PTR has been around, like I said, 22 years now. So the origin of the company was PTR went and bought the molds, tools, dyes, specifications from the country of Portugal for the H and K G3 platform. We moved it here to the Palmetto State, our home state, and we've been making them ever since. We moved to the nine millimeters, the seven six two by thirty nines, and the suppressors. I mean, we're keep expanding. Everything we make has a lifetime warranty, and we're damn proud of these. See, I'm a big roller delay fan. The roller delay fan, so MP5, MP5 clones, my thing. G3, one of my favorite rifles coming up, and this one's a 762 by 39. I'm an AK guy, so best of both worlds. All right, so here's the deal: the nine millimeter is silky smooth. You don't feel that delayed blowback because she's so silky smooth. The big G3, she's a violent battle rifle, 308 caliber. Again, you don't really feel that delay. But the 762 by 39, that's the sweet spot. Dude, I shot that yesterday. I was I was amazed with the, with the can. You feel that firing, the projectiles left, then the cycle. You feel that double impulse. It's smooth. Do you want? Let's, let's shoot these. Let's, shoot these. let's get out there and do it. Get out there. <laughs> All right, so you got the 32 KFR here right now. This is going to be that AK style mag. So you got that little rock and lock, just like you're used to with an AK. All right, you're going to slap the handle. Oh, good old AK slap. H yeah, HK you know, slap. Hey, yeah. Who doesn't like to do an HK slap, right? <laughs> All right, now you got safe and fire. Yep. Just send it. Gotcha. <laughs> Now, you really felt that delayed blowback, didn't you? Yeah. You felt that double action going on. We out. Dude, that's, 
That's nice. It doesn't even feel like 7.62 by 39. No, oh. especially with the vent on there. Yeah. Smooths everything out. No gas back, just like you said. Yeah, that's 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 really pleasant, really nice. The weight, the weight of the gun, the can, like I said, the can is like extremely light. You don't even so notice light. that. So up here we've got the vent one. We're talking, we're only at 11 ounces. And then we go down to 10 ounces and we can go all the way down to eight ounces depending on the model that we're shooting. Yeah, you know, everybody's about weight saving nowadays. So that's a big plus. It's titanium. Nothing gets lighter. That is a big plus. I like this. I like. And the it's full auto rated. Rock and roll, baby. I like the gun. I like the can. Let's get that, let's get that, uh, the CT5. Let's get a little nasty now. All right. You got the giggle switch on this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit about the uh, ZT5. All right, ZT5? this is our CT. CT5. Our, our CT is going to be your knowledge base of the MP5. Okay. All right, we've SBR'd this one out. We've put the vent suppressor on it. Gotcha. So you're really ready to just rock and roll. This one's even got the giggle switch. Okay. Take a couple shots, send me out to see what it's, see what it's hitting like. Giggle switch. <laughs> Roll it. Yeah. 30 rounds, just like that. It, MP5, MP5, CT5 impulse never gets old. Never you you gets love old. it, don't you? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a staple gun. It, exact it's words. It's like a staple gun. <laughs> now, is that not truly movie quiet with that yeah. gun suppressor? Yeah. You right? That thing is nice. You're John Wick, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, my thoughts on everything. Love the can, love the weight, love that you guys have the uh, universal thread pitch for, you know, yeah. anybody can throw what they, what they want on there to customize. Um, love the CT5. Uh, this model is what again? The 32 KFR. The 32 KFR. Takes AK mags, 762 by 39. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't feel like 72 by 39 at all. Like. Love the recoil impulse on both low delay fan. But you felt that double impulse on yeah. that gun, didn't you? Yeah, very controllable. Yeah. Love that. Um, thank you for coming out. Like, hey, thanks for taking a look. It was a pleasant learning all this about the company, learning about these guns and the suppressor. Like like I say, this is, this is, I'm loving this it's right just here. This is baby. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Palmetto State. Thanks <laughs> for coming you, out. Man. Appreciate you, man. <laughs>